Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last post. Thank you for all your support. For this first comeback, let me revisit an old project to make a lens adapter for this rangefinder so that I can attach the lens to a digital camera. This is an Industar 22 L39 lens or LTM lens, which is an old thread type mount for Leica rangefinders. Or in this case, the Eastern Block model Zorki, which dates back to around the 50s. And I will make an adapter for this digital camera, Sony A7. You may be wondering why not use the adapters available in the market. Unfortunately, using such adapter, the focus tab of the lens would get stuck, so we needed a different design. This lens has a unique operation. As a collapsible lens, it can be pushed inwards to reduce its carrying size. But for digital cameras, we don't want this lens to be completely pushed in because it will damage the inside part of the camera. So let's keep that in mind for the design. I designed the 3D models using Design Spark Mechanicals, and there are five main considerations. Number one, the front side has a 39 mm thread with a 1 mm pitch for attaching the lens. Number two, the back side is a flange design that can be attached to a Sony mirrorless camera mount. And number three, it must have a certain length from the base to the top of the adapter. The length is the difference in the focal flange distance or FFD of the attached lens to the camera. In this case, the FFD of an LTM lens is 28.8 mm and the Sony E mount is 18 mm. So the adapter length is about 10.8 mm and considering to give some allowance for context, it's going to be about 10.4 mm. Number 4, it has an outer profile that will allow the focusing tab to move freely. And 5, we will add spacer to limit the lens tube collapsing movement to prevent the back of the lens from hitting the camera inside. I also add a lens cap to complete the design. You can find the link to the latest design file in the video description. And I will also include the design spark mechanical file so you can edit by your own later if necessary. And here is the printing process. I'm using a black PLA plus from Isan with 0.4 mm nozzle on any cubic A4 Max. The G code was sliced in Cura with 0.12 mm layer thickness and slow printing speed. And here is the result. Now let me try to assemble it to the lens and camera. Unfortunately, the first print result doesn't align well. This step has to be moving on the lower side. After some editing, I print again and this is the result. Next, I will use this matte black spray paint. The objective is to reduce light reflections inside the adapter. Now let's attach the final result to the camera. And this is how it looks. I use it to take pictures of some objects around my place and here are the results.
not bad for a lens from the 50s and I don't have to wait to develop a film to enjoy the unique aesthetics of this old lens. I really hope you enjoy this video, subscribe, like or leave a comment if you want. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.